Our light wave amp drastically wakes up the audio in your BMW, but if you really want to get things bumping, an external sub is the way to go. And the Alpha One light wave amp by Beamer Tech makes that easy to do. We've talked a bunch about the Lightwave amp already. It is the perfect upgrade for your pre-MGU head unit BMW with Harman Kardon Hi-Fi Professional DSP and individual audio. It has three times more power and far more customization than any of the factory amps that BMW has to offer. Now, if you want to learn more about this amp and to see the installation on this X15 X5, well then go check out that video, link in the description. There are two ways you could hook up an external sub to our Lightwave amp. The first way is just like our other amps, where you use the DSP-controlled RCA line out to send a low-pass filter signal to your secondary amp or your active sub. The pin cable is the 12-volt remote out. All you need to do is add a fused power cable, a ground cable, an RCA cable, adjust the DSP profile, and you're done. The second method is the one we're going to be doing today and something you rarely see in the car audio world. Now, the Lightwave amplifier has one speaker level output that delivers 400 watts RMS, 800 watts max power at a 2 ohm load. Now, clearly that's enough for the external trunk sub we're going to be adding, but you do have to make a sacrifice. You are going to be losing your center channel, but with the amount of bang you get for your buck with this setup, I personally think it's worth it. Now you could do this installation yourself with your DIY Essentials Kit and Trim Tool Kit, or you could find one of our certified installers near you. And don't forget, if you're in the Orlando, Florida area, let's stop on by and we could do it for you. Without further ado, let's get to the installation. Jarrett, take it away. Step one is to prep the harness. First, start by cutting the red and black wires here the same length as the pre-stripped ones. Do not cut the red and black wires that are in the harness. Strip the ends of the insulation off. Remove the insulation from the pre-stripped ones. Fan the wires out like Jared. And twist both black wires together. Lift open one of the included Wago connectors, slide the wires in, and snap it down. This will secure the ends of the wires from touching anything else. Do the same with the red side. Fan out the wires, twist them together, and snap them into one side of an included Wago connector. To clean up the installation and avoid any shorting, separate and tape the other ends of the black and red wires to the harness like so. To keep everything clean and safe, pull the end of the pink insulation off as well and place that into the last Wago connector. Even though we won't use it for this, it still keeps everything secure. And now we have to plug the harness in as well as the leads from the sub to the amp. Now we're not going to show you again how to install the amp because we've already done that on a previous video, but we're also not going to show you how to run the leads from the sub. The reason being because what sub you get could be different and where you put it could be different. So while we'll show you how to connect it, the rest is going to differ depending on what you get and where you put it. Here Jared is showing the leads for the sub. To keep tension off the connection and to keep everything clean, Jared used a cable tie to secure the sub leads to the power leads. Now the connections. Take the negative from your sub and snap it into the other side of the Wago connector with the black leads. Then take the positive and do the same with the Wago connector with the red leads. 
Finish up by connecting the main connector by pushing it in place. Then slide the slide in, pulling the two halves together. Take the other end of the connector and place it into the amp with the purple arm down, then rotate it up to pull and lock it into place. Once that is done, use some cable ties to clean up the installation. At this point, it's time to set the DSP to output a low-pass filter signal to your trunk sub. I will make a full video on this in the future, but for right now, contact our audio guy for assistance. Place the cover back, and you're done! And there you have it. Simple, and the results are amazing. If you want to get the most out of your Alpha One Lightwave amp by Beamer Tech, then hooking up an external sub will really make that low end come alive. Now, if you want to learn more about the Lightwave amp and even see the installation on this X5, go check out the video, link in the description. For more tips and tricks, product reviews, and so much more for BMWs, Minis, and Supras, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell. And hey, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok as well. Thanks for watching.